Hey there guys, it's Burbank51 with another free indie game gameplay commentary. Today we're playing a game called Under the Garden, a game made by Paul Greasley, who um, is also known as Farmer Gnome. Uh, this game was the winner of the um, Game by Its Cover competition, um, it's, which is a competition that was held at TIG Source. Um, in which the game developers had to make games based on uh, covers for fictional games. In this case, this guy picked a cover that uh, had something about gardening on it, so he made this game called Under the Garden. Now this uh, is a game, it claims to be a survival game, but really it is an exploration platformer. Um, really you could uh, light this little fire in here and just stay in this little shack and you can survive as long as you want pretty much but that's not what the game is about the game is actually about going out and exploring and finding out um, exactly uh, what's outside of your little home here got your little axe that you can use to chop down trees you pick up wood And you can light this little fire in here with your wood. Now the fire is important because whenever you're near the fire, you can recharge some of your health. And also, you can, um, as long as the fire is lit, you can always teleport back to your fire, which is nice. Now, as you can see, this game has a pretty cool art style. Um, the developer, he did a really good job with um, with the design of this game. It just looks it looks pretty sweet. You gotta <laughs> I don't know what to say. I haven't seen uh, an art style like this in very many games. It's just really uh, it's just really cool looking. <laughs> Yeah, this game um, sort of reminds me of uh, the Knit series in the fact that they both have a like, really relaxing vibe. And I really think that that's what this game is. This game is sort of like a game that you that you uh, play if you want to, like, uh, I don't know, veg out a little bit. Uh, maybe not veg out so much, but, you know, you just want to chill out. I got my pickaxe and I could use it to hit rocks so I could get items from the rocks. Got some bullets. And let's see here. I can actually uh, trick the game a little bit. I'm going to use my items and stack them so I could get across here. Just save a little bit of time. And I got a lantern. That'll come in handy. Yeah, the character sort of looks like a, a Super Brothers style characters. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but uh, the Super Brothers are sort of like this uh, design company. Not in particular game design. Although. Nowadays, they're most well known for their sword and sorcery game, which is on Steam. Hmm. This would be a good place to set up a new uh, camp. Run around like a crazy maniac with an axe here. Get some more meat. Some more meat. 
Oh, okay. The moose is dangerous. And this is a cool game. It'll go through different weather patterns. See, it's starting to like drizzle or just snow a little bit here. And it'll go through day and night and whatnot. And if it starts to rain or anything, you better find some uh some place to hide. Okay. Now here is something. Your character in this game he cannot swim at all. Not even a little bit. So this is kind of a problematic area here. I'm going to go ahead and teleport back home to my little base here. Light the fire here. So I could teleport back here again. So far we've survived for three days. What do I not need? I don't have a gun, so I don't need bullets right now. Um, leaves. Eh, I might need leaves. Alright. Should have left my wood, too. I don't need that with me. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I kind of need a... More items. Oh, I could do like I did last time. Huh? Did you need no. I don't need anything. You eaten today. I've eaten two meals. I'm, I'm not hungry. Did you have two yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that. Anyway, got these items stacked and we're going to jump up here. Yep. And teleport the items back into my inventory like a magician. Yeah, this game is uh, pretty cool. It's even moddable. Um, the person who created this game even put uh, some example modifications in the game just to show people what could be done in a little mode where zombies are attacking you and once again thwarted by the fact that we need a bridge here um, I have no items I can use over there well hey would you look at that they provided us a few items here. That one's not gonna take. What? Oh. Okay. Those aren't solid. Those are background items. Before I still get across though, these four things here. is hard because this character is kind of slippery. Alright. Little by little. Oop, not that one. Little by little. Making my way across. Making my way downtown. You guys think I can make it? I think so. Alright. Cool. This is the far farthest I've been. And another log. Uh, I'll take it. And I'll eat one of these meats. Restore some of my health. What's R mean? This is a hunting rifle. Wow. When the rifle is equipped, it can I can fire it with the right mouse button? I think a round will kill most. Okay. Down bigger game, you'll need multiple shots. Before that, be sure to aim before firing. Okay. And look at this. 
another little house here. If only I can make a fire. Can I make a fire? I can't. Um. Hmm. It's becoming night already. That's not gonna hurt me. Uh. Screwing up the tree physics here. this? What is this? What is it? It says seed bag. You can grow crops with it. Wow! Simply equip it and use the right mouse button to throw seeds. You will need to throw the seeds on plowed mounds for crops to grow. Once a crop has grown, you have a small window to eat the crop before it wilts. Also, planting is different in areas of the game. will grow different crop types. Interesting. Um, well, anyway, guys, I think that'll end the commentary for today. I'll leave the rest of the game for you guys to play. Oh, no, it's raining. I gotta find shelter. Ah. But anyway, guys, um, go download this game. It's a free download. Um, let me know what you think of it in the comments. And of course, I'm going to be doing new free indie videos every week. So don't forget to subscribe to see those. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.